appeals from an order of the family court of Columbia County entered December 15, 2000, which inter alia granted petitioner's application in proceeding number one pursuant to Family Court Act Article 6 for modification of a prior order of custody and from an order of said court entered February 28, 2001, which granted petitioner's application in proceeding number two pursuant to Family Court Act Article 10 to adjudicate respondent's children to be neglected and placed respondent under an order of supervision. Respondent, here and after the mother, and petitioner, James M.M., M., here and after the father, were divorced in 1996. They were awarded joint legal custody of their minor children, James N.N., born in 1988, and Betsy N.N., born in 1989 with physical custody to the mother. In December 1999, the father filed a petition, proceeding number one, alleging the mother's violation of a court order concerning visitation. He subsequently amended the petition to allege the mother's further violation of an order by allowing her paramour to reside with her and the children thereby exposing the children to domestic violence committed by the paramour. During the course of that proceeding, the children's law guardian became concerned about ongoing domestic violence in the mother's house. In March 2000, the law guardian filed a child neglect petition, proceeding number two, against the mother pursuant to Family Court Act, Section 1032. And the father filed a second amended petition, this time seeking sole custody of the children. The mother thereafter petitioned for sole custody of the children and in May 2000 filed a violation petition against the father alleging that he violated a court order by allowing their son to have contact with the mother's former paramour. Following a fact-finding hearing at which family court heard testimony from the father and the mother, the children's therapist, the children's teachers, and a friend of the mother, the court found that the mother had neglected the children. It subsequently held a dispositional hearing during which the law guardian noted that the children preferred to stay with their mother, but nonetheless recommended that the father be awarded sole custody of the children. In December 2000, the court awarded the father sole custody of the children, awarded the mother regular visitation with the children, and dismissed the pending violation petitions. In February 2001, the court rendered an order of fact finding and disposition adjoining, uh, adjudicating the children to have been neglected by the mother and placing the mother under the supervision of the Columbia County Department of Social Services for one year. The mother appeals both orders. We affirm. Initially, we reject the contention that the evidence adduced at the fact-finding hearing failed to support family court's findings that the mother neglected the children by exposing them to domestic violence and by denigrating the father in the children's presence. Pursuant to the order of the family court, a child will be deemed to be neglected if the child's physical, mental, or emotional condition has been impaired or is in imminent danger of becoming impaired as a result of the failure of his or her parent or other person legally responsible for his or her 
care to exercise a minimum degree of care by failing to, among other things, provide proper supervision or guardianship necessary to ensure that the child is not harmed or at substantial risk of being harmed. See matter of Lorenzo, SS 289, Appellate Division, 2nd, 880, 881. 734, New York Supplement, 2nd, 731. Leave denied, 97, New York, 2nd, 604. 736, New York Supplement, 2nd, 308. It is well settled that a child's exposure to domestic violence in the home may form the basis for a finding of neglect. See matter of Lorenzo Supra at 882, 734, New York Supplement 2nd, 731. Here, the mother acknowledged that she had been the victim of physical abuse by her former paramour on several occasions. Significantly, she also admitted that the children were aware of the domestic violence, that they had reason to be afraid of the paramour, and that she had jeopardized the children's welfare by allowing her paramour to repeatedly return to her home. Turn it. You didn't get it? Yeah.